Okay, well, it's December 8th, I think, and it got, oh, 12 degrees last night. This is set and goes time. Now, this river is a big one. It's, it's the Grand River. And I know it doesn't look too big right now because it's down, but this spring, this baby turns into something way different. Now, it's cold enough where there's a skim of ice over lots of this river. We're gonna set some bottom edge sets against these points. And here's, here's a classic. Underneath the water there, there's a root system, and there's a knob, and there's a point. I have found if you set your bottom edge sets next to where, in, in a big river, it, next to where a mink can get in the water to go grubbing around, you're better off. If you'll, if you'll notice, the ice picks up again there, and there's an open spot. Now, when this gets really cold, this is this freezes right over, and that's got a pretty good clip to the current. But we're going to set. I think I got three. Those are the economies. We're we're going to set three right here, close in a row. Now you got to set these things like you're setting snares for rabbits. I mean, there's you, you got to put a lot of a lot of thought in it, and you got to you got to set a lot of traps. That's a big river. That's I don't know, 30 feet, 40 feet across of that, and you're asking that mink to swim in a five-inch square. So you got to be right on, and the more traps you got, your odds change. That that's what I'm saying to you. Uh, but this is where set and go shines. We'll be able to tuck these sets up underneath this bank on these points. And if you've not read the book Bottom Edge Mink Trapping, or if you have not seen Bob Noonan's video Bottom Edge Mink Trapping, you need to go get that and look at it. It'll change the way you think about mink. This this is. This is when the mink come to the water. If it's warm and there's, you know, mice and birds to catch up in that swamp, they would just as soon do that. That's their nature. But this mink, he's adaptable. Now I know there's a mink here. I saw his tracks. Um, I saw his tracks oh, a week ago. But this is a big river system and, you know, they come and they go. And this is an odds thing, and we're going to do our best. So I'm going to make these sets. I'm going to get, without dropping my camera, I'm going to get right down in here in the water with you. And let's look at some of this. They root, well, they're looking for frogs. That's what they're looking for. Now that's not too good right there, because it's all them roots and sticks and whatever. You need a hard point, and there's one right there. I hope you can see that. That forces the mink, look at my foot now, that's rooting down underneath this stuff. Bam, he has got to go around that, and that's, that's how you narrow it right down. You put it right on that point. So that's what we're gonna do. There's a there's a point right here, and it's on the bank's undercut, and we're going to put that trap in the water right on that point right there. And if a mink uses this, we'll catch him. And there's nothing like it because it, it could be the biggest mink in the world, and it doesn't matter how smart or trap smart and all that you hear about all that. He doesn't know what's going on underneath that water. So that's what we're going to do. 
and hopefully I can show you some results and this could take weeks could take two three weeks easily it's a uh, it's you're asking a mink to go through an awful small space but the more you do it the better you'll get at it and your odds will increase okay okay you can see that that's the stump and there's a set and go setting right in the face of it it comes out from underneath these these limbs and stuff and turns and that's all undermined back behind that and it turns so I set a set and go there okay right here the banks all undermined so I put a rock there wait a minute they'll know what's there I'm gonna tell you if they if they could read you wouldn't catch one all I did was interrupt that he doesn't know that rocks from the rock a mile down the road and the last set which I really like comes there's where the bank comes and it turns and he's got to go around that and it's right there on that point right on that edge so guys there's three sets that should catch a mink I really like that when they're on that point if he comes swimming up here he'll get caught if he works this bank now you gotta know this this is a big river it runs from Lake Michigan it's huge it goes for miles so it's an odds thing if he uses this little 10 yards of bank right here which he should makes all the sense in the world we might catch him but those are three good sets right there okay okay you remember we made three bottom edge sets remember that stump okay there's three bottom edge sets in this little stretch yesterday I I don't know what I got down there yesterday I put these two bottom edge sets in but look guys I'm sorry I put these two uh, board sets in for a, a muskrat look at the mink tracks now remember remember the bottom edge remember we talked about that he'd not been here in a long time this is the first time he'd been in here guys I got something there it's either a rat or it's that mink I don't know I can't tell from here but there it is and I'm gonna pull it out look guys guess who got caught in that bottom edge just like we talked about and look at that set and go it never even moved and he is caught all the way plumb right there's his tracks you can see where he went in the water and he went right down here and tried to get around this point he's rooting around he's trying to find a frog or something to eat and he ran into a bottom edge set and go nice buck mink that is just you cannot believe how elated I am that is awesome I didn't catch a rat and I looked down there and I could see them feet and I thought well at first it was a rat well it ain't a rat it's that big buck mink remember we talked about this part of the river had a hard time freezing because it's on a turn well I put a mink box up there with no results he come out of the water right over there ran across this bank dove in and was rooting around and he ran right dead set into the bottom edge set and go guys if you're not trapping this way you're missing an opportunity what a beautiful buck mink and I am just thrilled okay I just I'm I've just deleted alrighty then